Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to back up and restore important files and folders in Zorin OS 6. It's important to back up your files and folders regularly, so if a disaster does occur you'll be able to restore lost data quickly. Deja Dupe is installed in Zorin OS 6 by default, and it's just up to us to configure it to our personal needs. The first backup will always take a little longer because Deja Dupe has to gather all information and back it all up the first time. So I'm going to go to the Good Old Menu, and then to System Tools, and then to System Settings. Under System, I'm going to click on Backup, and it begins with giving us an overview of our backup schedule. Right now, automatic backups are turned off, so I'm going to turn those on. It shows the backup location which right now is Deja Dupe Zorin on Ubuntu 01. It's showing the folders that are going to be backed up, which is the home folder. Folders to be ignored or trash and downloads. It shows when the most recent backup was performed, which was never. And it also shows when the next automatic backup will take place. Down below it says old backups will be kept until the backup location is low on space. Next under storage. Here it shows the backup location. My backup location is Ubuntu 1 and it's in the Deja Dupe Zorin folder. You can select any location that you want to save the backups in. Under folders, it shows the folders that are to be backed up. And right now I'm only backing up my home folder. To the right it shows the folders that are going to be ignored. And again it's going to be the trash and the downloads folder. Under schedule, you can schedule how often backups take place. Right now it's scheduled for weekly. I can schedule for daily, every two weeks or monthly, and then I can also configure how long to keep the backups for. Right now it's set for forever. I can have it set for at least one month, at least two months, three months, six months, or a year. And now I'm going to go back to overview. And if I was to change the backup location, for this video I'm going to have it save the backup to the desktop but typically you'd want to save to an external hard drive something other than the drive that you're running your operating system on and I'm going to click OK now I'm going to go back to overview and now the backup location has been updated and I'm going to click on backup now it asks if you want to require a password for your backup for this video I'm not going to require a password I'm going to click continue and then it'll begin backing up your important files and folders. If you didn't want to run the complete backup at this time, you could always click on resume later. And I'm going to pause the video while it's finishing backing up. And the backup's completed, and here it is on my desktop here. And if I was wanting to restore from one of these backups, I'd simply click restore. It's going to ask me what files I want to restore from. And I'm going to leave the folder on the desktop selected and click forward. It asks when I want to restore from, and I'm going to leave today's date and click forward. And it asks me where I want the restored files to be located. And I'm going to leave restore files to original location checked, and I'm going to click forward. It gives a summary of the operation it's about to perform, and I'm going to click restore and it will begin restoring your backed up files and the restore was completed successfully so now any data that was lost during a disaster would now be restored to its original location and that's how you back up and restore your important files and folders in Zorin OS 6 thank you for watching have a great day